Today is the day I have freed myself from the Adobe products. Photoshop, Audition, Premiere Pro, these were the products that I used from Adobe. It wasn't easy to switch to the different software, but guess what? I did it. Back in 2020, I switched from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. This was the easiest switch of my life. It took like one or two days to decide whether I'm gonna stick to the DaVinci Resolve or I'm gonna go back to the Adobe Premiere Pro. And till this date, I'm just using the DaVinci Resolve. Actually, the video you're watching is edited in DaVinci Resolve. Next, I needed to switch the Adobe Audition which I technically didn't switch. I just uninstalled the Adobe Audition. And then actually I learned more about DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight. There is a dedicated audio editing tool within the DaVinci Resolve, which works entirely differently if you compare it with the Adobe Audition. It was a little bit hard, but guess what? Yeah, you guessed it right. I did it. I learned Fairlight. Now the final boss, Photoshop. Photoshop is like one of the most popular software out there. If you own a computer, there is a chance that you have the Photoshop. Almost everybody uses the Photoshop. But guess what? I don't use Photoshop anymore, starting from today. Now, the question remains, what am I going to use if I don't use the Photoshop? What is the alternative I chose? I give you three seconds. Do the comment before I reveal what I use as a Photoshop alternative software. Just do the comment. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm just assuming maybe a lot of you guys are wrong in the comments. What software do I use instead of Photoshop or what software I chose as a Photoshop alternative? That is Krita. I know, I know, I know. The best alternative of Photoshop is the GIMP. But uh, GIMP isn't made for me because GIMP works entirely differently compared to Photoshop and I find Krita works almost similarly as Photoshop. So it wasn't that difficult to learn Krita. So I also tried GIMP, but when I tried, I found that a lot of things doesn't work similarly. But when I tried Krita, many things were actually working similarly to Photoshop. So yeah, Krita is my alternative to Photoshop. Look at this thumbnail that I made for my last video. And this video's thumbnail is also going to be edited in Krita. There are a couple of reasons why I don't want to use the Adobe products. The most popular reason almost everybody can agree to is that the subscription. Yeah, Adobe products are subscription based. So you have to pay them yearly, monthly or something like that. So you don't actually own a software. You can't buy them, which makes these software super, super expensive. Actually, one of the biggest reason is that I want to go to the open source side as much as I can. As much as possible, I just want to use the free and open source softwares on my system. And I just want to announce one more thing. Uh, I'm gonna try out the Linux on my main machine uh, in 2023, whenever I get the time. I'm gonna try it for a few weeks, months, maybe. And then maybe if Linux impresses me or if I will be able to fulfill my needs with Linux, I might even switch to Linux. Yes, maybe I can say goodbye to Windows. Who knows, but that's something I also want to try and do. If you want me to say anything or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.